now let's analyze loading of cables okay over here i have a cable okay which is tied to these two ends okay and there are some weights which are loaded onto it okay had this been a rigid body it would have stayed like this right it would have stayed horizontal and you would have got a reaction like this but since this cable is not a rigid body it is going to deform okay what you are going to get is maybe something like this you will probably get something like this okay and over here you have your the ends okay and you are going to have your weights w1 okay we we have three weights so probably it wouldn't be like this it would be maybe something like this okay you have a w3 over here and this is your end to which it is tied so after the loading has been done your cable assumes a shape which is like this right what we want to know is we want to know how much this bending has taken place okay we want to find out the sag let us assume that we know these distances let us suppose this is x1 okay this is x2 this is x3 our intention is to find out what is y1 what is y2 and what is y3 okay we want to find out by how much this cable has sagged okay or in other words you can say that i want to find out this angle theta 1 because i know x1 if i can find out theta 1 i would get my y1 similarly i want to find out what is this theta 2 i want to find out what is this theta 3 and i want to find out what is this theta 4 okay so your problem would be a cable would be given loaded like this some distances would be given most probably these we have to find out either these thetas or these y1s and the tension in this cable okay let us just look at this cable more closely if you look at this section of the cable you would see the section is like this over here you are going to have a reaction we don't know what is the direction of that reaction just understand we are not going to have a reaction like this this is not a rigid body okay we are going to have a reaction at an unknown direction okay at this point there is a weight okay and there is going to be a reaction due to these two sections being connected okay you can think of it as this is one section this is one section so you are going to have a reaction maybe something like this okay so basically this section is a two force body there is one force acting at this point one force acting at this point therefore the forces acting on this particular section of the cable would be along the axis of my section and would be equal and opposite okay so this is what your fbd of the section of the cable is going to look like and same would be true for all of these sections okay so we are sure that this particular cable is either in tension or compression okay it is going to have forces like this there are no shear forces or bending moment involved in this section of the cable